car, SUV, or truck, guess what? You're in luck. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay. Come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier, we've got the right price. Frontier, we'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors, low overhead country. Ah, uh, yes, indeed, and we are happy to announce to you we have the owners of Low Overhead Country, better known as Frontier Motors, with us, ready, willing, and certainly more than able to take any questions from you, inquiries about a car, truck, or SUV that you're thinking of buying or selling or trading in. I, of course, refer to Ivan Streckel and Ron Schneider. Good morning, gents. Hey, Don. Thanks for the intro. Yeah, here we are. We're doing live. Oh, we got me there. Yep. Live radio. <laughs> yeah, sort of. Okay. Got live radio here, and we are also taping for our cable viewers out there and uh, we are talking about frontier motors and values and you know i I heard your sister station uh wxbm the other day marty talking about that radio is information and thank goodness that there's free radio out there because information people get in a crash in the morning uh people doing things wrong people doing things right it's information well that's what ivan and i think that helps us with uh wcoa here we're able to give you as much information about the car business and use car values than you can get anywhere else. I mean, you can call your credit union, but they don't know the color. They don't know what market is. So that's what we're going to do here on cable TV, and we're going to do it here live on the radio. That's right. You're talking about radio, radio, radio. But we are also videotape recording this for our uh, cable subscribers out there and our satellite subscribers, and this is the WCOA radio show. And the neat thing about our radio show, we've been doing this for almost 17 years on AM Talk Radio, which is 1370. And January 1st, they also flipped over to FM. So mm-hmm. we're on 100.7 FM radio. So if this is the first time you're listening to us on FM station, you can join us. And we've got the values going back all the way to, let's take a look, all the way to 90. 1996, I believe, and I've got the values up here, and we have our black wholesale guidebooks that we use, and we also have the NEDA books, and the reason that the NEDA books are important is because these are the books that the credit unions and the banks and also, most of our insurance companies in our area use, and Ron and I have been very successful in helping people in the Pensacola area get a lot more money for the cars that have been either lost or stolen or totaled. And uh, when I say lost, I guess you don't lose a car. <laughs> lost would be you, uh, somebody stole it. And, uh, and uh, you want to get a value on that car. And don't take the first uh, figure that the insurance company gives you without calling Frontier Motors and having us run through the book value of the vehicle and also the comps, not just the books, but the comps to make sure that you're getting the proper value. What's the phone number over here? Uh, phone number here is, it's over here, right here, 476 1007. 476 If like out of the calling area, however. If you're out of the calling area, add a 888, mm-hmm. right, Don? That's correct, 888. Um, it's I had to turn to the professional there. Yes, yes. <laughs> toll-free call. <laughs> toll-free call. <laughs> well, toll-free call, 888-476-1007. Look, everything's free around here. That, that's free radio. radio. That's for radio. The TV guys don't call in, all right? Oh, okay. Well, they can call the dealership numbers who are running across <laughs> the bottom of the screen right there. Uh, a little bit about Frontier Motors. Uh, we were established in 1996, as Ivan said. That book goes that far back right there. And uh, we are an independent used car dealership here in Pensacola, Florida. If you're uh, watching in Mobile or Fort Walton. Um, we started right outside of Car City. And our aim was to compete against those guys in the big car city. And if you're familiar with Pensacola, they put all the new car dealers all in one little place. And then, not all, but some. And um, those are the people we compete against. We, we sell 2013s, 12s, 10s, 11s, the alternative to new cars. Now, how do you compete against those folks? It's pretty tough because a lot of those have some great reputations. you got the Webs, you got the Sansings, you got all those people over there. you got the Honda, you got the Nissan, you got really some competition. Price. You know, we moved around the corner. We kept the overhead down. Don said that at the beginning of the show, low overhead country, and they really mean it. That's what we talk about. We put our money um, in our cars. We didn't build no mausoleum. People like it. It's like sitting at that good restaurant down the street. You really, really like it. It's a little hole-in-the-wall place. Well, we kind of like a little hole-in-the-wall place, but we got all the cars outside, and it makes it a lot easier to sell cars. We've been there. We have 11 salespeople. We have 26 employees now. We started, I even Jenny and I, when we started in 1996, and we had one other gentleman helping us uh, clean up the lot, and it's turned into a monster. Matter of fact, I got a little thing right here that um, this is the second year running that all you folks out there in TV land and radio land, in radio land you can't see this, this is the best of the bay. Uh, We won it in 2012. We won it in 2013. We also won it in 2010. 
we missed one year there. I don't know why we weren't their favorites in 2010. But uh, we want to thank everybody out there for voting for us. And this is how you get a good reputation in the car business, right? That's right. This and, is the uh, earnings. And we do a couple things different at Frontier Motors than most car dealerships do. Number one, we give you advice on what you should pay for a car, even if you're not buying it from us. So if you decided you want to buy a brand new car, and let's say, for example, you're going to go to Car City and buy a brand new car, the way that we can help you is we have the new car cost guides. And these cost guides are free to you. If you go to uh, Consumers Reports, charges about 20 bucks for an invoice. We don't charge you anything. And I have the retail price and the cost of any car out there, which might help you get a good deal on that new car. And the other thing, Ron, and I can do is if you're going to go buy the brand new car, and we tell you what to pay. Bring us to trade-in. Let us appraise the trade-in. doesn't mean you're going to get, sell it to us, but if you know what the value of the vehicle is in real dollars, forget about books for a minute. I'm talking about what will we write a check for, then when you go over to the new car dealership, make your best possible deal. If I appraise the vehicle at $12,000 and they're appraising it at $10,000, you can use my information to get them to up their appraisal a little bit. And the, way that, the, way, the reason we do that is because we know that if we give you uh, the information to get a good deal, the next time you're in the market, you're not going to go to that dealership. You're going to go to Frontier Motors because we're the guys that helped you get the deal. Four seven six one zero zero seven. If you're listening to us live on WCOA, and uh, we can help you out with your values, we talk a little bit about things about Frontier Motors, about values, and I kind of like that advice Ivan's giving you. If if you still want to go challenge that new car dealership, let us help you with educating you on your car because basically you could be driving around for three years in your car. You don't really know what it's worth. I mean, Ivan and I don't know what it's worth until we really look at all the in-depth. We look at the Mannheim Auto Auctions, we look at the NADA, and we look at the Black Book. And we can take a, a guess, you know. We can shoot off the hip, but you want something that's in writing, something that will help you negotiate, absolutely free at Frontier Motors. What are you reading in the business there? Well, I'm thinking I'm, uh, I'm, I'm thinking I wish I was a Chevrolet dealership right now. You think so? And, uh, and uh, kudos to Pete Moore and Sandy Sansing because uh, the business section of the News Journal has a great, phenomenal article on the new Impala, the 2013 Impala. And they are rating the 2013 Impala better than the Lexus and the Toyota. First time ever. Now, Ron wow. and I have been talking about this for years, that the domestic products, uh, the, the General Motors and the Fords and even the Chrysler and Dodge products, are getting better and better. And guess what, folks? They're almost, almost where the Toyota and the Lexus and the Nissan and the Honda uh, have been for years and years. And I know I still get people coming in, us being an independent dealership, and they say, well, I, I want to look at a Honda Accord. And I'll tell them, well, what about this little Impala right here? How about this Malibu? How about this Ford Fusion? Nope. I'm not buying nothing than a Honda. Now, the reason for that is because Honda's had a phenomenal reputation, so has Toyota, for years and years and years, and the domestic products haven't been as good. Well, I, I, I really like the article that says, for the first time in two decades, the car built by Detroit's Big Three has bested the likes of Japan and Europe to win the top spot among all sedans from Consumers Reports, and that is the 13 Chevy Impala. And, Ron, we bought our first one just the other day. I jumped, as soon as I saw the article, I jumped on that, and we have, I think, a, a couple of 12, some 11 models, a 10 model, and and a 13 that we just got. So if you're in the market, and one of our little things that we talk about is that we will appraise your trade-in for you if you're going to buy a new one. Well, what if you're going to buy a brand new Impala with no miles on it at one of our local Chevrolet dealerships? Well, what about the one that we have that's a 2013 that might be seven months old that might save you four or $5,000 over the price of a new one? And a lot of people, some we can talk them into maybe buying that 9,000-mile uh, car as long as we save them a bunch of money. I don't know if we can talk them into it, but we can give them enough information that they'll convince they'll themselves. Talk themselves into it. <laughs> right. You know, we have 37 used Chevrolets. Now, we're an independent dealership. I guess if you called the Chevy store, they probably got more used Chevrolets. Don't get me wrong. But we have 37 Chevrolets. And to Ivan's surprise, we have actually five Impalas in stock, five used Impalas in stock. And a couple are trades and a couple are this, you know, 05 and 07 and 07 and 12 and 13 and another 12. But... It's the amount of inventory sometimes that helps you make that decision because you could come to us and you could hear the story of the news journal and say, well, I really, I'm going to go over and look at that Impala. Uh -huh. But before I'm convinced, how about letting me drive a 2013 Camry? We got one. And what if you decide I want to drive, you know, I really like that Nissan Altima, got a 2012 Altima. So, and we have all those down the, down the line. So it makes it a little bit easier. It makes it a little bit helpful for you because you can come to one location Without that guy, like I was just trying to talk you into his product because, of course, if you go to a Chevy store, he's going to think that's the best product. If you go to a Cadillac store, he's going to think that's the best product. We don't really <laughs> want to do that. We just want to help you out. I think we got a call. Don's waving. Uh, we do. This is Lori from Pensacola. Hey, Lori, how can we help you? A quick question. I'm someone in the news that there's like 100,000 Sandy cars out there. 
that were flooded with salt water during Hurricane Sandy. Mm -hmm. What can I do to prevent myself from buying one of those as a trap? That's a good question. That's a good great question, question actually. We, the have number the, we have the same problem. We have to make sure that when we look at a car that we're very careful. The first, the first thing that happens is, is all of the auto auctions and all of the off-lease programs are very aware of this. So any ID number is checked in the region, it's, it's checked in now. And all of the cars, Carfax, all of these uh, play, people that watch history reports, they watch it and they actually put a red wording up in front of you that you're buying a car that was registered in a certain district so that you can have it checked out. Number one, number two is, well, we had Ivan come through here, not that Ivan sit alongside me, he's always around here. Yeah. We had Ivan, the storm came through here. Saltwater damage basically makes a car undrivable after about 10 days to two weeks. Now, we had one gentleman come in and he had a 4,000 mile Ford and the guy's waving a little check. He says, look, the insurance company is going to give me $40,000 for my Ford truck and look at it, it's running perfect. Three days later, the fuse box swelled up so big in the tray, truck that he couldn't even start it, and they had to tow it away. So those are things to prevent, but I think car history report and watch where the car has been registered. But we haven't seen any. I haven't. Have you seen an influx at all of any of our car reports? No. You know, they, talk, they said that a lot of cars are going to come down here, and I have not uh, run into any. I have not run into any flood-damaged vehicles since Hurricane Ivan that we've uh, rejected. Um, and I buy a lot of cars at the auction. The nice thing about buying the cars at the auction, of course, is that they guarantee the car. So if I ever sold a car like that unknowingly to a customer, the customer would get their money back. They wouldn't lose any money for depreciation. I would get my money back. So if you buy it from uh, the nice thing about buying from a dealership, and even Consumers Reports says that if you buy from a dealership, you have recourse. If you buy from a private individual, you don't have any recourse. So there's a little bit of a, of a help there that if you... If it ever happened, if we were to sell a car like that, unknowingly, you would get your money back. But how do you know? History reports is one thing. Get the car inspected. Um, and every once in a while, I get a customer, uh, Dodge, for example, has a problem with their seat tracks. Where Dodge's seat tracks rust out. And I've had people look at a, a Dodge pickup truck and say, no, this one's been in a flood. And it hasn't. They just have bad seat tracks. You leave the, you leave the window down one time and it rains on it, the seat track turns to rust. Um, so a lot of times, people will have a false sense of thinking it's a flood car when it's really not. But they've been really diligent on making sure that the flood cars get totaled and get scrapped because the cars are pretty much useless after they've had water past the floorboard. So we haven't had a problem with it, and uh, I can assure you we'd never sell one if we did. Okay, thank you. Thanks for calling. I was got along, but there is, there's a lot of good answers, and there's a lot of good things. And the other thing is buy from somebody you trust. Um, Consumer Guide said that if you walk on someone's lot, we're an independent dealer, okay, and you go to a franchise dealer. Now, you think the franchise dealer, oh, he's going to be responsible for anything on that car. Wrong, oh, wrong, oh. There's a window sticker on there on any of his used cars, and it says either as is or with some type of conditional warranty. If it says as is on a majority of the cars, get off that lot. Because what, that, what that's telling you through the federal government is this dealer is not going to stand behind all of his cars he sells. Ours have as is. We have a warranty on every single car we sell. Now, we have every once in a while, we'll sneak out a two, $3,000 car doing a favor to a family. We've got to wholesale it out the back door over there. But what we're saying is buy from who you trust. And the other one is take it to your local mechanic. And the other thing that we, when we talk about the trust factor when you're uh, buying a used vehicle, and I had a customer do this two, uh, two, uh, about two months ago, Ron. They came in, and they were trading in their Cadillac, uh, and it was, uh, they said it was a Cadillac V. So we appraised it as a Cadillac V. Well, when I did the history report, it showed up as a regular Cadillac. Wow. He says, no, it's a V, and he had a little V on the back. Well, there's about a $6,000 price difference between a V and a regular Cadillac. Mm. And so I said, go back to the dealer, and it was, an, that was not in Pensacola. It was an out-of-area dealer. And, of course, he didn't go back to the dealer, but he called them, and pretty much the dealer told him to go pound sand. Now, if we would have done that, and he had it in writing. Wow. His sales contract said Cadillac V, and that's what he paid for. And it wasn't. The V is a supercharged model. That, that high-performance motor is thousands and thousands of dollars more than the regular motor. And he didn't have that supercharged motor. He didn't know the difference when he bought it, other than the fact he thought he was buying a V. But that dealership pretty much told him to go pound sand. What would happen to Frontier Motors if we did that? You would Ooh. get the price difference in the form of a check. Absolutely. You know, one <laughs> you know, of the things you said, really, really you good. If you, if, we, if you ever bought a car from Frontier Motors, and we found out later, it was one, like this lady was asking. Uh -huh. You would get 100% of your money back because we get 100% of our money back. But be careful. I even said something about individuals. You yes. know, you buy one off of eBay, an individual, and you think it's too good to be true? Hey, do this. If you think it's too good to be true, that's what this information station, information show is about. Call somebody that's in the car business. You know, 
we're looking out for our back every day. You know, Ivan buys cars, I buy cars. He may miss something, I may miss something, and I'll ask him about it, he asks me about it. But there, there's so many filtering systems in our business today. You know, we have over 300 used cars in stock. We got $6.5 million invested. You think we want to make a mistake on any one of them? We don't. No. Because if we make a mistake on one, we feel we make a mistake on two or three, and you're talking about $6 million worth of your money, you know. We'll be over there. We'll be over there pushing sand somewhere, you know, where, where we're not supposed to be working, you know. So we're very, very cautious. We're very cautious about our reputation, and that's how you get these things right here. These best of the bay. Watch your reputation. Watch what you sell. Be careful and know who you're buying from. Exactly there. What else are you talking about? What you well, got over there? One of the things that uh, I like to let, let people know is they come on the lot, and I've had this happen almost every day around where a customer comes on the lot and he's looking for a particular vehicle, and he says, well, I'll just check your website. You don't have it. I'm not going to give you my number. I don't want to be called. I'll just check your website. Well, folks, a lot of cars sell so fast at Frontier Motors, they never make it to the website. At least the pictures don't. And I'll give you an example of what we bought. I'm just going to give you three days of purchases. If you were in three days ago, these cars weren't here. A 2010 Acura RL, a 2007 Chevy Impala, a 2008 GMC Acadia, a 2010 Honda CRV, a 2007 Honda Odyssey, an 11 Jeep Wrangler, a 2012 Lincoln MKT, a 2011 Nissan Maxima, an 08 Porsche Cayman, a 2010 Tacoma, a 2011 Yaris, a 2012 CTSV, a 2012 Malibu, a 2013 Suburban, a 2012 Challenger, a 2000 13 Dodge Journey, an 04 Expedition 11 Honda CRV EXL, two 2009 Muranos, a 2012 Nissan Quest, a 2007 Matrix, an 08 Sequoia, a 10 Tundra, a Chevy Equinox, an Accent, a Lincoln Continental, another Tacoma, and a Full Runner. That's three days of purchases that were here, and we're selling, we're selling about 60 cars a week, which means that we get 60 new cars a week. And what I'm getting at, folks, if you're looking for something in particular, leave your name and number, email us if you want, and if we don't have it right then and there, chances are four days later it'll be sitting right at our doorstep. The nice thing about this, again, information, giving you enough information, if you come to our car lot, you know, it's like the fresh fish, the freshest vegetables. When you go to a place, you wish you knew how to pick that out. Well, we have a sheet. It tells squeeze us, them. You you know, squeeze, squeeze them. Squeeze them. That's what I do. Yeah, squeeze them. You thump them. You smell them. Well, you don't have to do that with a car. We have a sheet that actually tells you our newest arrivals. So if you want to come in and say, what do you guys got new at your lot? You know, we have some people that are kind of car crazy, and they come in and they look at our lot. But, you know, you don't want to go look at some of them. leftovers been over there for weeks and weeks and weeks. Sometimes you want some fresh stuff. We have a list for that. We also have a list, and all of our salespeople carry this. Now, these are pr prices of cars. Now, in most dealerships in most locations they code everything on the back and they hide these little fancy codes and they don't know what it is they don't write it down you got to figure it out and what the salesman is able to do is he's able to look at that little code and you say hey mr streckle how are you then you say it's fine he says how much is this car and you look at the back and you see that they got like maybe sixteen thousand and you say uh mr streckle it's seventeen five and mr streckle don't say "Ooh, that's too much then you can say well we can negotiate a little bit because you know that difference here what we do is we list our prices that we're asking. We put the price of the NADA guide on here in case you're financing. We put the miles, we put the equipment, we make it easy for you and the salespeople. As a consumer, hey, it's tough for us. We, we got 300 some odd cars and Ivan and I every once in a while say, where do we get that car from? So as a consumer, when you come on the lot, this makes it a lot easier for the salespeople to help you. Now, if you don't like salespeople following you around like a little puppy dog, then you can take one of these at our lot and look for yourself. And that's very unusual in Pensacola. It's very unusual in Mobile or Fort Walton. I don't think there's another dealer on the Gulf Coast that does that. So if you like leisurely looking around and you don't want to sneak over there on Sunday, you want to go boating Sunday, you want to go to the beach Sunday, then come on over to Frontier Motors. Hours of Frontier Motors are 8 until 6 in the evening, and then on Saturdays till 4, 8 till 4, closed on Sundays. But uh, also come to our website. If you want to shop the website and shop in your pajamas like Mr. Sansing says, I like that little commercial. Uh, Frontier Motors is uh, FrontierMotorsInc.com, FrontierMotorsInc.com. As Ivan says, Google Frontier Motors. We come up right away at the only dealership here in Pensacola. And if you are going to buy a car from your neighbor or a private individual, I noticed the last time that I went on Auto Trader, a private individual had their car for sale. I clicked on Get This Carfax Report, and it flipped over to Carfax, but you had to pay $39.95 to get that Carfax Ouch. report. And what we do at Frontier Motors is we have the Carfax report at no charge, and we have Auto Check. So we run both history reports for you at no charge if you're going to buy that car from the private individual. And some of the smaller lots also, Ron, don't have 
have this service available, you'll ask them for the Carfax, and I'll say, get it yourself. Because they don't want to pay the forty dollars. Well, we pay one fee, and I can run run as many as I want. So, if you're looking at five or six private individual cars on Craigslist, for example, call us with the ID numbers. And any of the salespeople at Frontier Motors have been trained thoroughly on how to be able to pull that history report up within a matter of seconds. And they'll either email it to you or fax it to you, or stop in at Frontier Motors and just pick it up. These are just one of the services that we offer. And a lot of times, what happens, Ron? Is when you call in, you say, "Well, I'm looking at this 2012 Ford Focus that my cust that my next door neighbor has, and uh, I run the history report for you, and it's a clean history report." Well, my next question, of course, is, "What's he charging you for it?" And the guy says, "Well, he's charging me seventeen thousand eight hundred dollars is what he wants." Well, I've got one in stock that I can sell for fourteen five. Now, two things are going to happen. One thing is he's going to go back to that neighbor and said, "I'll buy your car, but I want to buy it for fourteen five. If the neighbor doesn't do that, they come to Frontier Motors. Next thing you know, I've got a sale because he saw the value, the difference, and he didn't call up to get a value. He called in to get the free history report. But don't you want to know if you're getting a good deal or not? And you don't even have to tell us what you're being charged. We'll tell you what we can get you that car for. And uh, with a 300, I looked this morning, Ron, 307 vehicles in stock, and I've got about six of them that aren't here yet. So we have over 310 vehicles in stock. And the nice thing is you can come to Frontier Motors, and if you're not sure what you want, it's like coming to an auto show because you can look at every make and model. It doesn't matter what it is. We've got some variation of just about everything that's out there, from Jaguar to uh, little smart cars to big pickup trucks to uh, cargo vans to 15-passenger uh, buses. We've got them all sitting right there, and you can go from one to the other, and I don't know if Ron mentioned it, but our salespeople come in early and lo unlock every single car door. So if you do come in and ask for a price list, you can shop by yourself. You can sit in the cars. You can make sure that that's fit you properly, that the visibility is great. What a great way to go shopping at a car dealership without us having to s squeeze you for your business and give you the old, well, what if I do this? Would you buy it today? You're not going to hear that at Frontier Motors. You will squeeze? They squeeze, yeah, they do. That's what the dealerships are. They're, they have squeeze train meetings, they, training they do. meetings in the morning. <laughs> they call them squeeze meetings. And they're here they're, they're, they're to squeeze you into that seat to make sure they get your wallet out. And, and that whole thing has been going on like that uh, for years and years. And, uh, and when we opened up the dealership 17 years ago, we said, let's do it different. Why don't we have the customers buy the cars instead of us sell the cars? Here's the key, Mr. Customer. Take it for a ride. See what you like. See if you like it. Ron and I will do the pricing for you, an out-the-door figure in writing, and then we hand it to you and we say, go shop. Don't buy it right now. We want to make sure that you are positive this is the best price. Now, we've already done our shopping. We have a program called Price Driver. Within a matter of seconds, I can find out every vehicle that's available with 150 to 300 miles to make sure that I've got the best deal. And I want you to come back after you do that shopping. And once we show you that, half the time you don't even do the shopping. You just buy it from us right off the bat. A little bit more about that price driver. It actually checks any car advertised within 150, 250, whatever increments or amount nationwide. of miles. Or nationwide mm -hmm. on how much that car is. So if you're uh, sitting down with one of our great salespeople, Ray Shy or Don Kurt, or you're sitting there and, and you say, well, I'm going to go look around a little bit. Well, we can help you with that because any car advertised within 150 miles is already on our screen because of the Internet now and the information station out there. So all of a sudden, here it is. And all of a sudden, you find out that Frontier's price there is correctly. And that's what we do. We actually the sheet. You know, I'm talking about the sheet here. We just don't run around and mark about five, six, seven thousand dollars, or you know, or a thousand or two. What we do is we look at what's going on in the market, and if the market will bear a certain price, and we're competitive on that price, then that's where we're going to be. There's no reason to advertise a car for two thousand dollars more than everybody else is selling it. It doesn't make sense. And what that also alleviates is when you get to the dealership. You don't have to go to this back and forth and back and forth and, you know, it's marked up $3,000 and you got to try and get down to NADA retail or close to it. You don't have to do that at Frontier Motors. If you want to come in, look at a car, like I said, it's already open. You want to drive it, we'll give you a key, get a copy of your driver's license. And you want to sit down and negotiation. The negotiation process at Frontier Motors is all of five, ten minutes long <laughs> because we give you the information of why we're pricing the car and then the price. And then if you got to trade it, another five minutes or so, ten minutes, Praise your trade, put it on paper. We do everything in writing. Everything that you verbally hear from us, we put in writing so that you can walk away, talk to your wife, talk to your husband, talk to your credit union, whoever you need to consult with. And most people, when you get a car business and they say, I'm going to go talk to my wife, ah, never coming back. I got to go talk to my credit union. Ah. We feel more confident by pricing our cars right the first time. And that happens at Frontier Motors every day of the week, six days a week, 
Eight till six. You know, Ron, we talk about that we're not a franchise dealership, which means we sell used cars. And sometimes we get brand new cars. We just have to sell them as used. Ron, we just bought a 2013 Honda CRZ, which is a small hybrid. It only has 70 miles on it. What happened to all the other letters? I don't know. CRZ. CRZ. Is there not supposed to be something like in the middle of it? That's it. Like Ronald has all the different letters in it. (laughs) How about if you're going to go to Pete Moore and buy a brand new Volkswagen Beetle? If you're going to buy a brand new one, I would urge you to go there. If you're going to buy one that's got 400 miles on it, you come to Frontier Motors. We've got a 13 Beetle new body style convertible with 400 miles on it. If you're going to go buy a Kia, you go see Kia of Pensacola. Great dealership if you're going to buy a brand new one. But if you're going to buy one with 2,000 miles on it, you buy this Kia Sedona from us or the Kia Optima with 2,000 miles from Frontier Motors. And uh, if you're going to go to Sandy Sansing and buy a brand new Altima, we urge you to use him as your dealership for a Nissan. But if you want one with 2,000 miles on it, we've got a 13 on the lot. We've got a Volkswagen Passat with 3,000 miles, a Hyundai Elantra with 3,000. We're a little bit shy on those type cars right now. We'd love if, if you got something out there. If you got one sitting in your yard, maybe you're a... Uh, Going from a two-car family to a one-car family like my mom and dad did. They oh, Dad drives now. Mom don't drive. you got a car sitting out in the driveway. You're paying insurance on it. It's sitting out there. You're paying for a tag each year. Hey, get rid of that car. Bring it to Frontier Motors. It'll take all the five, ten minutes to look at it, touch it, feel it, drive it, and we can write you a check, and it can be over with, and you'll be saving money. But that's some of the things we do. We also buy cars, and that's why I'm mentioning that. That's right. We've got uh, uh, our most of our advertising right now is geared to buying cars because right now we've got such a, I don't want to say a shortage of used cars, but a shortage of used cars of nice used cars. Right, right. So if you've got a car out there that's not a rat, that's not all beat up, uh, and that has got life left in it, we would like to uh, offer you more than wholesale. And I think we're, uh, car buying got a bad reputation from car dealerships, Ron, because they always would price the cars ridiculous. You know, that car, if you, if you can sell a car for $10,000, you should be able to pay between eight and 9000 and still make a profit. Some dealer will offer you $5,000 for it. So a lot of people are always surprised that we buy about between 10 and 15 cars a week from private individuals. Absolutely. I think we had a record week. You said we bought 56 vehicles last week. Uh-huh. That's a lot of vehicles. That's a lot of new peppers and onions and fresh vegetables and fresh cars and everything else. we got about a minute left. Financing is excellent in the used car business, folks. I know that there's some new car dealers out there promoting interest rates and this, that, and the other, but there has never been any better. Ivan and I got in the car business back in the 70s, and the rates were higher than that than they are now. They were 18%. What are yeah. you talking about? Yeah. Now there's 18%. rates 1.9, 2.9, 3.9, 4.9. We got 60 seconds left. Uh, Frontier Motors is located at 230 Beverly Parkway. It's right in the middle of Escambia County, right in the middle of Pensacola. If you're watching from Fort Walton or Mobile, look on our website. There's a map to get there. Or just give us a call at the normal way of contacting a business. That's called the telephone. It's 436-8080, 436-8080. For those out there watching on TV, you'll see it come across the bottom of your screen and some of our daily specials out there. And you've know, you got to remember that we talk about used cars and used car value. You know why? That's because everybody out there drives a used car. That's right. And we are the place to go if you need advice on what to pay for a particular car. So make sure you stop and see at Frontier Motors, 436-8080. That's 230 Beverly Parkway. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. I'll do the same. Guess what? You're in luck. Frontier Motors is down the street. Got the best deals that can't be beat. Don't overpay. Come in today. Doing business the old-fashioned way. Frontier. we got the right price. Frontier. We'll treat you mighty nice. Frontier Motors. Low overhead. Frontier.